energy drinks, and it, they're kind of like a nightmare when you think of it. You know, when you look at it, they're like a synthetic speed when you look at it. You know, they get you hyped up very quickly, like speed, and then the debilitating crash at the end. Hi, this is 8 News. Now, I'm talking about energy drinks right now because it hits home really close to me. Because I love energy drinks. I used to drink energy drinks all the time. No wonder I have a heart problem. Because, you know why? I used to drink a lot of energy drinks. You know, it's not... It, it was my downfall, yes. But, you know, when you're working in the entertainment business, and when you're a stagehand for many years, and you've got to keep awake and sharp and focused, that's the only thing you can do to stay focused and do your job. You know, there's long nights ahead of you when you're a stagehand. You're, uh... You know, load ins and load outs. So you can be there at the uh, theater or the, the venue for like 24 hours almost. So, you know, you're just like, okay, so at daytime you load in, they have the show, you have your little break. Depending if you, if you have a break or not, you, sometimes you're part of the show. You have to bring out sets on the stage and everything else. And then, you know, you have to unload. You actually, uh, you know, strike the stage. And when you strike the stage, you you know, it can take five, six, seven to even ten hours to get everything out. Depending on how big the set is, depending on how much trucks they are. There's a lot of trucks in the theater business. Some of these Broadway touring Broadway shows have like eleven to ten to nine to eight trucks. So they have a lot of trucks with a lot of lighting gear, a lot of heavy scenery, set pieces, uh, backdrops. All that. <coughs> Sometimes you're in the theater for like 12 to 15 all day and probably into the next morning. So, you know, what do you do when you're very tired and you have to keep on working? You take an energy drink. It's that simple, and that's how I learned in my whole life. You know, I was a stagehand. Uh, I was a flyman. I, was, I did a lot of stuff in life. And, you know... You want to be focused. You want to be awake. So you, because people's lives are on, on the line on some of this stuff. And you have to take no-dos. Stuff like that. You know, I was not a big fan of that. No. I, you know, people thought I was strutting around cool drinking energy drinks. No, that's not the point. You know, that was not the whole thing. It was me trying to stay awake so I could get the job done. And then it has consequences in life. Well, the... With my bad heart, mom. So, I try to, you know, and they're addicting, guys. Ladies and gentlemen, if you have ever had an energy drink or anything else, you know how addicting they are. You thrive for them. You want more. That's how the industry gets you. It's the sugar. Most often, it drives you back for more. Some people just like the taste of it. I, I like the taste of certain ones. I like the Death Editor Punch by Venom. But, to be honest with you, was it really worth it? Was it really worth destroying my body to get a show on the road? At the time, I thought it was. But when you get older, you figure out, is it really worth going to doctor's offices and being controlled by the medical establishment half your life? That's what's going to happen to you. Drop down that fucking energy drink. Don't have don't be like me having the medical establishment come to you constantly and constantly and constantly get on your freaking nerves and then they have the gall to say, Well you did it to yourself. Yes, I know I did. You don't have to keep on repeating like a parrot. You know, the one thing I don't like in life right now, ladies and gentlemen, is the repeaters of parrots. Repeaters of parrots, I consider people repeating the same thing over and over again. And I'm not going to say names on here because I don't do that. Because that would give them clout. And I ain't giving anyone clout. Anywho. There's this person that I keep, I keep on repeating the same thing over and over and over again. And it gets very agitating. But you have to understand, the person has a medical, mental illness that they don't want to address. 
So you just move on, shake your head, and pray to God that person gets mental health treatment. But yeah, it doesn't really happen. Because they think they're better than you. It's kind of like they're so far leaning left that they don't want to say anything's wrong with them. Yeah, that's usually what the left do. They don't want to prove that there's anything wrong with them. And they just keep on going, oh, there's nothing's wrong, nothing's wrong, nothing's wrong. The right do it does the same too. The right, the far right does the same thing. You know, it has to be, you know, the center person can see both sides and say, wow, I need some help. Because denial is a river in Africa, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> but no, no, denial is really bad. When you're denying yourself that there could be something wrong, it can manifest itself into craziness. And one day you're going to just snap. And then you're going to see yourself behind bars the rest of your life. Because you snapped. Because you didn't know the real truth. And until next time, ladies and gentlemen, put that energy drink down. It's going to cause you a lot of anger in your life. Talk to you later.